Hello everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigator and this is today market update for June 30th, 2020. This is the last day of the month. The market it have been wow today. If you look at my uh, previous video yesterday, you can see that you know the bear they have a very good chance to try to defeat the bull if they be able to break below the blue line here. But they couldn't do it when they hit to the 50 day but with it, the market it defend very hard and today it, they bow right back up so right now the price that they are all up the moving average so about 50 day moving average about 200 day moving average so technically the bull try to build some momentum here so tomorrow we will see that where the market is heading to so today the market it come right back down and then they pull right back up where they go they go right into the Dow trend resistant line here so this is a very important level that we really want to see the bull have to be able to break about it and test the gap that they uh, gap down before so if they be able to successful to fill up the gap here the bull definitely have a chance to move much higher so today as you can see in the shorter time frame the market it come down they push it back up and they push it hard onto the share zone so if you are a day trader you can see that if you look at the uh, uh, market you can see that uh, in the morning they slam it down and then uh, and then they push it back up and then they retest and then after that they are yet to run it up right into the neck resistance line there and then the shell are coming in so overall the trend is still bullet let's see how far they can go and if you are our member uh, from Stock Navigator, you will know how to define a short-term trade, especially for day traders. And if you trade future, you need to know where to put the buy zone and sell zone uh, correctly. Because if you don't know the trend direction and you don't know where the market is heading to, and then you won't be able to make money for day trading. It's very uh, choppy. It, uh, uh, they are up and down. So you have to know your main trade direction in order for you to make money. So as you see here at 6.30 today, the market it come right back down. So they land back down right into the buy zone. And then after that, they run up and then they pull back down during the lunch time. And after lunch time, and then they go back and the last minute, they hit here right into the resistance. They wait for a little bit and then they try to run it very fast right into the sale zone and close it for the day. So as you can see right now the overall market is still um uh, bullet you look at a lot of stock in the uh the big boy you can see that uh, let me see here adobe the stock that we keep showing it continue at out from the market they come back down and now they try to go back up again look at the microsoft it's still doing extremely well so they tell you the market is still very healthy. So they go up, they pull back down, they run back up again. Uh, and Nvidia, as you can see here, it also is very strong. So the sector semiconductor doing very well. And even Netflix it also uh, try to buy back up also. So the one good note today, I see that, you know, uh, Boeing, because a lot of people, they have a question on the Boeing. So the Boeing yesterday, a, a taxi to the runway, and then they have a flat tie again. So right now, they are uh, pulled back, but they're not too bad. They still hold up there. So let's see tomorrow, the next candle here will tell you where they're heading to. And uh, one interesting stock that I keep mentioning, that the uh, Tesla uh, with the uh, raw oil from Elon Musk to try to compete uh, with uh Jeff Joe and uh, Nikola new big truck electric uh, big truck and you can see that the Tesla have more advantage today after the Tesla they break out look at here almost at 60, 67 point again in the upside and it's so very strong momentum compared to uh, uh, the other electric car you can see okay meanwhile the uh, uh, the Nicholas, the new one, uh, Nicholas uh, big truck company, electric truck. They still have a truck go after they go IPO. They try to find a way to go higher. They couldn't do it. So right now they go sideways. 
and then uh, before they be able to uh, cash out all the money to go IPO, and then they will give you more clear direction. And if you look at the uh, what's of the uh, index, you can see that uh, a couple of index like uh, uh, let me see one here, IDB. This one is uh, biotech, but also uh, after they break out, they go back up, they pull back to the support. They also gain momentum also. IWM, which is the Russell 2000, also that the one that fall behind, and then they try to run catch up today, and then they be able to get out and then push it back up. Let's see tomorrow, they will gain some momentum and put it upside. Um, and uh, YTI, that's another uh, transportation, let me see. The transportation is also after they come down, they stabilize, and now they'll be able to break out. That's another one that try to show that the economy try to recover. And the bank, uh, the regional bank, you can see that this one here, it also it found a support. So if the bank come back, definitely it, they will help the market that uh, going back up also. And the QQQ, uh, uh, the technology stock in Silicon Valley, you can see that they are continuing to show the strength here in the upside after the pullback run to the support. And today they take up again. So the overall, the market is still uh, uh, bullish, as you can see. As long as uh, they maintain this level, so today the price, it, they go back to the very good position here. So tomorrow we really want to see that where are they be able to break out the dark trend line here to take over the bull again uh, or not. And uh, in the short term, the market it hit to some uh, minor resistance here. So probably it, they will go sideways uh, and uh, a little bit, and then we'll find a way to push it back up again. So that's all I have for you uh, on the market update today. And uh, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more how to understand the market, how to trade, and how to use modern technical analysis in trading, please check out our website at stocknavigator.com for more, for more information. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.